Hey everyone, it's Dylan. We're back again for another week here in the shop. Joe's making faces as usual. Um, this week we've got a few different things planned. We're actually going to be pouring some coasters because uh, we sold those coasters a few weeks ago. They sold out really quick, so we're working on some more of them. We're building a little art piece for the Nelk boys. Uh, we're preparing for a few resin pours, and then Joe actually designed another one of his geometric resin pours that you guys really liked, so you're going to get to see that. So I hope you guys enjoy this week's video, uh, and don't forget to leave a like before you watch the video. Go do it right now. Hey guys, what's up? So you may have remembered from last year, I actually made a few different pieces. They were geometric type pieces, a uh, spiral one and an offset square one. Uh, this is another one, kind of conforming to the same rules, same geometric kind of stuff. Uh, we're kind of going for a maze pattern here. We want the pour to uh, continuously pour throughout the whole piece and it'll look super cool. And uh, yeah, it was pretty easy to make. We just uh, milled up some 1x5x1x5 by by five lumber and uh, yeah, and then you cut 45. You guys are picking the color as well? Yeah. We put a little thing. Some of you guys may have seen it on Instagram. If you follow us, we put up a poll asking for your favorite color. Most people are saying green, so we're gonna try and do some kind of green thing. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. an extra little bit here for the Nelk boys. So we're gonna cast this bad boy. Corona. Yeah, Corona in a four by four rectangular cube prism. Nothing cube. to do with coronavirus. No, yeah, it's, no. it's not no. anything about that. <laughs> Strictly for the Nelk boys. Yeah, the Nelk boys before the whole coronavirus thing, uh, Corona beer has always been their favorite, so we're making them this little art piece. Um, and Joe had the idea, we're actually going to pour a layer of fire truck, the same color as their table, in the bottom, and we're casting it with clear. Some leftover resin from 
the Nelk Art Piece Corona Bottle Pour. Um, and then in front of me here, what I want to show you guys is some of our coasters that we've made in the past. Uh, we just actually had a drop of these last week on our website and they sold out in under two hours. So that was very, very quick. So we're actually making a bunch more small things like that. We've got some coaster molds here right now. And Joe's gonna kind of play around and try and create some interesting solid epoxy ones. Here are the coasters that we kind of played around with. So we've a um, few different colors. This is actually kind of like, this is the ghost one, I think, that we did. So these, they look white now, but they should kind of reflect different colors. Uh, this is kind of a, Joe, what do you call this beige-ish white one? Rage. Rage? Yeah, there's a there's like a sparkly red in there too. Okay, so this is Joe's Rage. But it's actually gold, not beige. It's actually golden red, so. Rolled? It rolled. <laughs> Uh, so we got that. Um, there's a few other colors that Haley did. Uh, Haley's our videographer, if you guys didn't know. You guys really like her music selections. Um, so there's those, and then we have the full sand red with kind of black drizzle throughout. So comment below, let us know which one you guys like the most. All right, so we just stopped by uh, Calgary Interiors here, and we met with Jeff. Uh, we had him look at this chair here. We finally got like our first chair all sort of sanded up and he's gonna be doing the upholstery on the seats and back for us. So, uh, big shout out to them actually. They're very easy to do business with. We got responses out of them right away and we we're actually meeting with them the same day that we called them. So that's really awesome and probably by mid next week they said, yeah. these are going to be finished up and ready for seating. <laughs> and then a lot of you guys have actually been asking about start to finish process videos here on YouTube because you say, you know what, it kind of sucks sometimes to see a table only get worked on a little and not till completion. So we've listened to you guys and this is gonna be our first start to finish video. It's our chair here, all solid walnut. Uh, so you're gonna get to see right from the rough blocks of wood all the way to a finished chair and that's gonna be dropping probably next week on Thursday. Okay, so now we're gonna go demold all those three pours that we did last week. So we've got that blue purple resin pour between black walnut. We've got the transparent black with black walnut and we have a smoky gray with black walnut, so we're gonna pop all those out now.
Okay, so we are getting ready to head over to Jekko now. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that's where we get our table spray finish. So they've been working on the white oak table. It's got kind of a high gloss finish on it, so we'll, we'll go check it out. He's revving his engine. Big diesel. is the white oak table. You guys saw us pour this about a month ago. Uh, that was in the video where the pigeon pooped on the Nelk Boys table. Uh, so Jekko's done like kind of a, a semi-gloss spray on this. Uh, this is an acrylic urethane that I've, they've put on there. And the resin looks solid black, but you can see kind of around the edges. You can just barely see the wood and you can almost see through the table a little bit in some spots. Uh, but that's kind of what our client was going for. And this white oak, it's it's a very, very dense, heavy wood. So this table actually weighs a lot more than some of our other tables. But I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. But let us know what you guys think. Do you prefer the look of the white oak? Or do you like walnut? Kind of like that over there. Okay, well I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. A lot of kind of different things going on. Uh, I'm in the pour room right now and we've got one, two, three, four molds. Five actually, another geometric mold uh, that Joe made, all ready to pour next week. So that's probably going to be next week's video, is just pouring a whole bunch of resin. And this week we actually received our shipment of the other products, not just our deep resin. So we got some deep, we got coat, high temp, and art. That's all available now, so you guys can go check out the link in the description on our website to get some resin. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.